السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد The greatest night of the year for a believer is the night of Qadr ليلة القدر as we commonly refer to it The first thing we need to do when we reach that period wherein we're searching and we're hoping to find and to secure the night of power, the night of decree, the night of Qadr is to thank Allah for having prolonged our lives by yet another year so that we can witness this period of the great month of Ramadan. We can search during these nights for the night of power and decree and, and, and Qadr. And hopefully, by the mercy and the grace of Allah Taala, secure its rewards and secure its blessings. Look, so many people were with us this year last time, and um, they're no longer with us. Uh, this time last year, there were many who were healthier, wealthier, younger, fitter than we were. Due to the pandemic or whatever else, they are no longer with us. The fact that Allah has prolonged our lives by yet another year is a phenomenal bounty and a phenomenal blessing of Allah. And Allah says, la shakartum la azidannakum. If you show gratitude to me, then I will increase you. And hopefully, if we show gratitude to Allah for prolonging our lives by another year, then Allah will make us see many more Ramadans, many more uh, last ashara, last ten nights, odd nights, and inshallah, the Laylatul Qadr as well. Now, just to bring things into perspective once again, because we have this discussion around only once a year. If uh, we look at the famous surah of the Quran, Surah Al-Qadr, Allah wa ta'ala mentions in the surah that inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr. We have revealed it on the night of Qadr. I'll explain what Qadr is a little later. Now, the it here, the who, refers to the Quran. The Quran was revealed on this night uh, from where to where? Because on the, other, on the one hand, we, we know that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam received the revelation of the Qur'an over a period of 23 years. So how do you reconcile between that point and this point here that says the Qur'an was revealed on the night of uh, Qadr? Uh, it's simple, the ulama explained, that from the Lawha Mahfuz, the preserved tablet, Allah revealed the Qur'an to the Sama dunya to the last heaven above the earth, on the night of power. And from there then, it was revealed uh, as per the decision and the, the instruction of Allah bit by bit to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam over a period of 23 years. Then Allah tells us, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ Do you realize what is the night of power? What is its, what is its value? Its virtue? Its uh, auspiciousness? Its greatness? That Allah himself explains. It's a rhetorical question. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ خَيْرٌ مِّنْ أَلْفِ شَهْرِ Allah says the night of power is better, better, خَيْر مِّنْ أَلْفِ شَهْرِ than a thousand months. So a thousand months would equate to 83 years and four months. Now, Allah is not saying that it's equal to 83 years and four months of worship. Allah is saying it's better. How much better? Allah is not specified. So only Allah knows. Can we just imagine how much better? Very few people get to live such a long lifespan of 83 years and 4 months. The average lifespan of an ummati, we know, is between 60 and 70. So take it at uh, 65. On one night, you can get the reward of a longer than average lifespan spent in the ibadah and worship of Allah. Subhanallah. Look at the mercy of Allah. Look at the power of Allah. We know the backstory here that uh, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's ummah, the average lifespan is shorter than the nations before Nuh alayhi salam preached to his people. He preached to his people for 950 years. And that's not how long he lived. That's just the period that um, he actually made da'wah uh, to his people. In order for this ummah not to be left behind, Allah has given us this opportunity every year. Now, you do a calculation. If you live an average of 65 years, let's drop off 10 years. That's the period when you're still growing up, you're not focused, you don't really understand. 10 years, maybe 15 years. 50 years in your life, on average, if you experience Laylatul Qadr, and each year you secured uh, 83 years, 4 months of ibadah and worship minimum, because the Quran says khair, better than that, more than that, then you do the calculation, my maths is not that good. But I think you get the idea that Allah wa ta'ala in our lifetime is giving us an opportunity to make up for the fact that our lifespans are shorter than that of the nations before us. Because this is the greatest ummah, khayru ummatin. This is the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. From myself, Sulaiman Ravid, in South Africa, Jazakumullah for the opportunity. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.